grounds of Fenway Park MLB the show as interleague action for you this afternoon it's the Washington Nationals and the Boston Red Sox joined by my partner Chris Singleton I'm John Chambi and singing the big bat in the lineup so far this year Tyler O'Neill leads the team at OPS so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively just a machine in terms of production at the plate he'll take his walks he'll barrel up the baseball He'll hit the ball in the gaps. He'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. So just about set now, and on the mound today, Cooper Criswell. Well, he's allowing just over one base runner per inning, which is really good, especially for a starter, because these hitters get to see you two, three, maybe even four times in a start. So it just shows you how deceptive and how effective his stuff is. We'll see if it's that way in this one. Number 30 at the plate and takes high there. The wide to kick the pitch. Ripped, but it curls foul. The wind of the pitch. That's the ball. Yeah, the two one hammered, but foul. The pitch. And oh. another ball. Full count. Tried to Here check his swing there. Now it appealed to first, and he held up. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen Leading him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once the again Brooklyn. early on. C. Here's C.J. Abrams C. to him. That, that one's one. in there, 0-1. 
Oh and one. Fouled off to the right. Rudder at first with no outs here. Battling here as he fouls it away. Line drive and a base hit. Duran quickly gets it back in. Rudder stops at second, and the first two reach to start the inning. It's amazing to me that he was able to put the barrel on that one. I mean, that pitch was pretty well outside, but great extension and bat control through the zone allowed him to drive it the other way. That was pretty impressive. And now it's Luis Garcia. On the ground, right side. There's one. Double play. That was some defensive wizardry. The 3-6-1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first, and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect, and right there, they made it look pretty easy. Joey Manessis, the next to hit. And downstairs. Oh. One ball, no strike. Two outs and a runner at third. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. The 1-1. One, one. And Two another and ball. Just oh. missed. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position and a hitter's count. Jesse Winker up next for Washington. Two outs. Line to right and that'll be a base hit. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. Really nice job staying inside with his hands to fight off that pitch. Man, that cutter was bearing in on him, but he found a way to stay with his approach, didn't spin off it, and he hit it pretty well. Here's Jesse Winker. He's been a great free agent side. That's in there. That's strike one. And a pitch. That's Ball. inside. And it's one and two. One, two. Wouldn't two chase that time. Here's a 2-2. Now a screamer into the outfield. Makes the grab, and that is that. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at Fenway, and today's starter, Jake Irvin. Chris, what are you looking for from him? 
Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. Hammer, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now let's see if they pull some action with good wheels on the bases. Now the batter now, Will you Abreu. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. And he dives back in safely. Swing and a miss. And a count is 0 and 2. And that just misses. It's a good take. Here comes a pitch. And two another and ball. Two two now. Wouldn't Double chase that down. time. We'll see another payoff pitch. Durant gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Good plate Ball appearance four, there. Able to take the walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Here's Tyler O'Neill. That one not close. And that's ball one. And that's oh. down it away. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. No outs. Runners at first and second. A little out front there as he swings through it. Two balls, one strike. This one backs to left center on its way, and that one's out of here. He powers that one out of here. Home run number 10 of the year. It's 3-1. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Rafael Devers up to hit. And first offering is fouled off. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Red Sox already leading. The pitch. 
Back foot slider ties him up, struck him out. And stepping in for Boston, Vaughn Grissom. And first offering is fouled off. Still only one out here in the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. One down. Base is empty. Not one ball, close with that one. One and two to count. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And no one can get there. Now he'll turn for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Well, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Dom Smith stands in. Just Outside. missed. That's the ball. a strike that misses two and one two one that one ripped left field and it one hops the wall Runner from second crosses the plate, and they're up by three. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Here's Reese McGuire. And that's no, a little Redman. high. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. Yeah, the right-hander deals. Here goes the runner, Lipscomb. Sends it across the first. Now two away. Batting the second base. Time now to check out the lineup for the Boston Red Sox. Not the highest team batting average for this squad. They're down towards the bottom of the league in total hits. And Singy, because of that, they don't score a ton. Yeah, and Boog, I'm looking for a little better performance out of them today. I mean, if they're going to be dangerous, if they're going to be able to create scoring opportunities, they're going to have to start making some individual adjustments. A lot of players in this lineup probably aren't happy with how they've hit the ball so far. So today's a chance to get something going. Two outs and one in scoring position. And no, that one upstairs. Not. Well, clear game plan coming in this one. Be aggressive against this starter. Try to knock him out of this ball game. And it looks like they're on their way to doing that. Get into the bullpen a little bit early. Could be a great offensive day. The pitch. No, that's in. Just nope. off the oh. outside edge. And now three and three one. one. That went back up the middle and it gets through. Coming home. Now a long throw home. But it's offline. Picks himself up at RBI. Fastball down and in. Good spot to get a ground ball. But that one had eyes. Two down, the Red Sox 
the early lead. So stepping in for Boston. No, Sedane Rafaela checks over to first, back safely. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Headed towards the corner. Turns to the right on the move. He makes the grab, and the inning is over. But nine batters hit in the inning. Five come around to score. Onto the second from Fenway Park. It's the Red Sox five and the Nats one. Top of the second. Up now for Washington. Hebert Ruiz. Hebert Ruiz. Ruiz, 25 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. First pitch misses. Line drive to short and caught. That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it. I mean, he couldn't have hit that ball more on the screws than he did, and yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. Here's Eddie Rosario. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. That yeah. one's in there. Oh, a two now. Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well liked umpire, Boog. Pretty consistent with his zone. So if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. Goes down looking. Well, I'm not really sure why he let that one go by. I mean, out of the hand, it had a lot of the strike zone. Sure, it had some good arm side run at the end to move to the outside part of the plate but with two strikes you got to be ready to swing it there and you can't leave it in the umpire's hands and now Trey Lipscomb the wind of the pitch on the ground to third over to Smith. Nets go down one, two, three. Nothing doing for the offense that time. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Red Sox five and the Nets one. We head to the bottom of the second. Now it's going to be Jaron Duran. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. That's a laser base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. And next is the designated hitter, Willier Abreu. He walked and came around to score his first time up. the other way that's a base hit throw back in quickly first and second now with nobody out well clearly he was ready to hit right there anytime you rip a line drive the other way you feel really good about what you did at the plate you trusted your hands you let the ball travel and you took the barrel straight to it that's great work right there and next for the Red Sox Tyler O'Neill he's already homered here in this one Right yeah. through there for a strike. Duran, the lead runner out at second. Abreu at first with no outs. The next no, pitch misses, miss, ball. and it's a ball and a strike. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. And a pitch. Strike on the inside corner. That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster. Into the monster seats and gone. Another homer. 
His second home run of the game, and they add to the lead. It's 8-1. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? A really good job there by the hitter, getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. The manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Jake Irvin, done for the day. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Now on the mound for the Nationals, Trevor Williams. He's been so good against lefties. Here's Rafael Devers. Struck out swinging his first time. That's a strike going one. Yeah, and here's a fun stat on Devers. No he's at his strike. best when he's hitting homers and doubles. And by the time he was 26 years old, Devers already had over 150 home runs and more than 200 doubles. He's just the 15th player in baseball history with those kinds of numbers that at missed, that age. The, the Nationals have some action going in the pen. Jacob Barnes looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. Already three runs across in the frame. Bottom half of inning number two. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And now it's one and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Here's a one-two. And another oh. ball. Two, two. Chop to the right side. On to first. And Devers is set down. The batter, number five. Let's do it. Let's go. At the play, Vaughn Grissom, a double and a run scored his first time up. That clips the zone. It's 0 and 1. It's 0 and 1. The shortstop takes a ball. One out, base is empty. Oh. Bows it off, still one and two. And the pitch on the ground to short Abrams slings to oh. first got the out Well, oh, nice job by the shortstop to field that on the back hand and gather himself get his feet underneath him he had a long throw but he knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step secure the grip and finish the throw two outs base is empty now it's Dominic Smith one for one with a single and a run scored so far Pitch misses. Ball. ball one. Two out spaces empty. He swings and fouls one off.
That one's in there. And the count, one and two. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. And that one got a piece of it. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. And at first, Reese McGuire now at the plate. 0 for 1 so far. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Two outs. Left field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. The second base. So first and second with two outs. David Hamilton getting ready to hit. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Pitch misses there, and it's 1-0. Right-handed reliever. And a base hit right there. Throw in holds the lead runner at third. So it'll be bases loaded and two gone. Back to back singles. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And now it's going to be Sedane Rafaela. First pitch just one misses. Smith on third, McGuire on second, Hamilton at first, two out of the inning. Right through there for a strike. The next That's offering the misses. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. And they'll do it again. Next offering is down low. Got him swinging. But the biggest swing of the inning comes right here, a three-run homer. Still a lopsided affair at 8-1 now. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back in Boston, now it's the right fielder, Victor right fielder, Robles. Number 16, Victor Clearly down in this Robles. ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. Oh, two. and misses it's a strikeout here's the center fielder Jacob Young and that is cut on and miss that's strike one wow no oh, fair right there I mean that slider didn't move till the very last moment incredibly Yo, difficult oh. to pick that up just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch the Red Sox up big in this one. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Up the middle, over to first, two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. 
And now up for Washington, C.J. Abrams. The shortstop the takes a ball. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Rafaela under it. Makes the catch. And that'll do it. So they go quietly there. We head down to the home half of inning number three. Red Sox eight and the Nats one. Back here in Boston as we go to the last of the third. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Jaron Duran. And the right hitter back to work. That just misses. One and oh. You know, One these ball, Red no Sox strength. putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They jumped all over the starter and knocked him out of the game early. He just was never able to settle in, and oh. the damage was done by the time he got the hook. Two up. The pitch. Hee And now two and two. I mean, when you're two chasing the opposing starter in the first inning or two, that's just such a tone setter for the game. And it puts the other team back on their heels, and it stills a lot of confidence in your lineup from top to bottom. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Now the designated hitter. Next is the designated hitter, Willier Abreu. In the air, right field. Robles sizes this one up. Hauls it in for the out. And there's two down. Up next for the Red Sox. Tyler O'Neill up next for the Red Sox. That one ripped, but foul. Two down, nobody on. That one catches the zone, and it's 0 2. Next offering misses down and away. Way outside, and the count's even at two. off the, the outside edge and that's awfully close Down I don't know how you take that he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now and he deals round ball left side and a base hit right there around first and hustling for second to second pulls him off the bag kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock and we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole and it's Rafael Devers in the box and first offering is fouled off
Man on second, two down. Yeah. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Deal two. That's down One, and two. in. Runner at second, two down. Here in the last half of the third. Foul ball still a one and two count. Man at second. Two two. Squirts away a little bit. Nice job behind the plate there. Next Not one misses. Cool. And now it's three and two. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Crush to right. This one's got a chance. Out of here. Home run. A gigantic blast. Home run number five on the season, and they boost their lead. It's 10 1. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, then you hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Two outs, nobody on. Next to hit, Vaughn Grissom, one for two. That's a strike, 0-1. Oh one. And a foul ball. Here's the 0-2. The shortstop the, takes the ball. the ball. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase two. that breaking ball in the dirt. And that one hammered. High off the light tower and gone. Towering blast. They go back to back. His first homer of the year, it's 11 1. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boo. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dip. Back to back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Base is empty with two away. And stepping in for Boston, Dominic Smith. Just missed. And now nope two and ball. nothing. 
He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Laboring here, about to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. That's hard hit on the line. And that's the third out. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. On to inning number four. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back inside Fenway Park. Start of the fourth. Up now for Washington. Luis Garcia. Garcia. Criswell back to work. That's off no, the mark. Ball one. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. Oh, I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Next offering is in for a strike. Anything in particular stand out to you as far as moments at Fenway Park? Wow, ah. it, you know, it's unfortunate because I remember as an Oakland A's player, we were up in the series against the Red Sox, two games to none. Okay. All we needed to do was close out a Saturday night ball game. We went extra innings. The Red Sox won that ball game. And then Sunday, they pushed the series by winning game four back to Oakland for game five. And unfortunately, they won game five as well. Makes the catch, and there's one goal. Nice swing and good, solid contact. That ball was smoke, but needed a little more lift to get into the outfield gap. Maybe a little more backspin. So next will be the four-hole hitter for the Nationals, Joey Meneses. And first offering is fouled off. That was 2003, and the Red Sox would eventually get their hearts broken by Aaron Boone, but end the curse a year later. No, that's low. That oh. misses the zone, and the count even one and one. Up the middle, and that chance handled. Tosses to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the okay. air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now it's the DH, Jesse Winker. He's over one. That's inside. And that is ball one. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this um, but yeah you definitely expected to see some offense coming oh. up off the mark there and a count two and one swings through that one for strike two Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Makes the sliding stop. The throw, and that's a great play for the out. Three up, three down for Washington. They trail by double digits, 11 to 1. Welcome back, and they turn to a new arm as we kick off the bottom of the fourth. Jacob Barnes. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Here's the catcher, Reese McGuire. Red Sox. Yeah, so, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, and then the next night got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox and that sliding catch in the corner by Tom Bernanski. The Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland A's in the playoffs, but that's one of the things that I'll think about in terms of memories from going to college and going to Fenway. And stepping in is the speedy David Hamilton. There's a strike. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left.
at the belt and fires. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. The Red Sox up big in this one. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. That misses. Oh. Now one and two. And there's a ball. Oh. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Left hand batter waits. Well struck right field. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. That was loud contact and a no doubt double off the bat. I didn't know it was going to land in the bullpen, though, and he's really improving his accuracy out there. It's almost like he tried to do it. So stepping in for Boston, Sidane Rafaela. Runner takes off for third. Pitch is high. Throw to third. Save. Well, maybe he thought he should have gone for a triple instead of a double and just decided, I'm going to take third this way. Definitely using his legs to his advantage right here. The 1 0. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. Runner in from third to extend their lead, and it's 12 to 1. He's in at second with a one out double. That's two consecutive extra base hits for this team. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong, balanced swing, and a fraction of an inch different on the bat, and it is probably out of here. Now batting Jaron Duran. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Man at second. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And it's off the green monster. Runner from second scores as they add on. And it's 13-1. Well done. Drives in the run. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at that. Will your a brave up next for the Red Sox? Fastball for a strike. Going one. One out and a runner at second. Next one offering one. way upstairs. Wouldn't chase that time. That one misses. Three and one now. The pitch. Foul ball there. Runner at second here, one gone. Outside, four, and that is ball bait. four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. A game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. So first and second with one man gone. Tyler O'Neill will hit next. And the pitch oh. is outside. Ball one. One oh. And the righty deals. And oh. the one oh misses low. He's clearly trying to Two work him oh. away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. And now two balls and a strike. Two one. Just oh, missed. That's, that's a good miss off the inside part of the plate. You'd much rather miss there than out over the plate where this guy could do some real damage.
Two on, one out. On the ground to the left. And foul ball. Rips one to right. He's got it, and there's two away. Up next for the Red Sox, the third baseman, Raphael So first and second with two outs. So here's Boston's cleanup hitter, Rafael Devers. He's already homered in this game. And first offering is fouled off. Outside. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. Try to get That's him to chase on the change up that time. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. The count two and one. Back up the middle in a base hit. Around third. He'll score, and the lead continues to grow. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. First and second, two down. And next for the Red Sox, the Vaughn Grissom. One and out. Oh. Abreu at second. Devers on at first with two down. On the ground to third. Throws to first. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. So they get three runs on four hits. No errors, but two are left stranded. We're headed to the fifth. The Red Sox lead it 14 to 1. Ready now for the fifth inning, and it's the catcher for the Nationals, Hebert Ruiz. Ruiz. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Nats just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times. And it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. That's it Zips it across. And a quick out number one. The left fielder, number eight, Eddie Rosario. Next to hit for the Nats, Eddie Rosario. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. First ball. pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball, no strikes. That one that missed. missed. That's the, ball. the offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. That one oh. missed. Now three and oh. Yeah. And there's the automatic. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Bounce to the right, and that's, that's foul. just foul. Three, two. Fights it off, you'll see another. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. So a man aboard now with one away. Now that the third baseman. Trey, Trey Lipscomb yeah. digging in for the Nationals. First time up, he grounded to third. Ripped on a line. And it goes oh. just foul. Lipscomb goes six foot one, 23 years old. And he was a third round pick in 2022.
you one. And yeah, that's Step outside. Ball. One ball, one strike. Man at first, one away. Fouls it off, still one and two. Kicks and deals. Hammers that one, curling down the line and foul. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Ground ball right side, could be two. Flips to second, double play. And that'll do it for the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Red Sox out front, 14 to one. Now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Tanner Rainey. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. So digging in, Dominic Smith. Here comes a pitch. And that one in the air center field under it. Hauls it in for the out. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. The catcher number three. And now the catcher comes up to him. Reese McGuire. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And oh. another ball. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Foul ball. One fouled off, two and two. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. And now two and two. Picks and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's a speed threat. David Hamilton. Three for three with two singles and a double. Hamilton. Just uh, uh, missed. Oh. And that oh, one missing down. low. Oh. Two outs. Three and oh. And that's ball Take four. Base, ball four. Speaking of walks, did you see anything special during your walk into the ballpark today? I know you like to take in all the surroundings. I just love interacting with the people. It's just fun to connect. I mean, as I was headed up to the booth, one guy shouted at me, make sure to say hi to Kenny. Rafaela stands in here. Tried to hold back You're his swing there, three. but went around. Hamilton off the of first with two away. Rainey picks over. Hey. Hamilton dives back in safely. Right-hander kicks deals. Runner on the goal. Safe at second, and that was not close. 
Well, he picked over once just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared. Got the timing down, and he gets in the scoring position. Runner at second, two down. Last half of inning number five. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Man on second, two down. In the air, fairly deep to right field. And that ends the inning. Top six. And now here is Victor Robles. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. And that's oh. downstairs and outside. That's to third. He gets there with the slide. Fires to first. It's there, and that's a great play. Just so impressed with the movement on that play. The footwork was excellent. The arm strength was there. And, of course, the most important part was getting the out. And now the center fielder. He's 0 for 1. That one ripped. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Round second, digging for third. The relay, no, he's okay. in there. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. And the batter will be the shortstop, C.J. Abrams. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. The run scores from third, and it's 14-2. Abrams into second, and he's got a double. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. I'll tell you. Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke the line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure. Home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Man at second with one away. Luis Garcia digging in for the Nationals. And ball, ball one. One run across in the frame so far. All Red Sox in this one. All Next right. pitch in for a strike, and it's one and one. Movement in the bullpen. Nick Pavetta getting loose out there. Man, it's second. Hit on the ground to the right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Now batting the first baseman, Joey Meneses. Joey Meneses digging in for the Nationals. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. And a foul ball. Two outs. And he boots it. But in time, nice job to stay with it to end the inning. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and the man left. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. The Red Sox on top, 14 to 2. Bottom of the 
the sixth inning. Now the left fielder, Jaron Duran. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid 80s. Good contact, not much power, and he could run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. I think baseball oh. starting to understand that those guys are valuable like they once were. They need him in this game today. That's in there. Yeah, the count one and two. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. The one two. That's foul off to the right side keeps the AB going. That misses the zone. And the count is even two and two. Way high. Check swing at the full count offering. Appeal to third. And he couldn't hold back. He's rung up on strikes. Stepping in, Willier Abreu. Wouldn't That's chase that ball. time. That one ripped right center field. Bounce takes it over the fence for an automatic double. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well as it bounced over the fence. It sounded really good, too. He just put together a really nice swing and just missed a home run. One out, runner at second. And now the right fielder, Tyler O'Neill. Moved to second, and he's hey. back in safely. Runner takes off, pitches low. Throw to third, he's safe. They're merciless. I'd say a questionable decision to steal third right there with the big lead. Probably won't be received well in the other dugout. Next offering is in for a strike. Abreu takes his lead at third with one away. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And here it comes. Caught him looking for the K. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, oh, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. And first offering is fouled off. The Red Sox up big in this one here in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Oh, and two. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. That one misses ball, the three. zone. And yeah, a count one and two. 0 oh, 2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. And a 1 2. And a base hit knocks in a run. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. So two down, 
Vaughn Grissom up next for the Red Sox. And he takes a strike. Here comes the 0-1. Ball. One and one. That one laced to center and a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. The first baseman, number two. Dominic Smith up next for the Red Sox. One for three. That nice one in one. there across the letters. The pitch. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. 0 oh and 2. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. 1 and 2. In the dirt, but kept close. And an excellent job keeping it right there. First and second, two down. That one hammered center field. That's back there. Just missed it. They get a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Seventh inning coming up. Boston's out in front, 15 to 2. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Nick Pavetta. He's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal, and it's definitely one of his go to pitches when he needs an out. Jesse Winker digs in now. Jesse Winker. And a pitch. This to center field. Settles underneath it. He's there. He's got it. And there's one away. Up next for the Nationals, the catcher, Kebert. And now it's Kebert Ruiz. Clips the outside corner. It's 0 and 1. Gets him to chase after that one. 0 and 2. Gets a piece and stays alive. One down, base is empty. And he dodges One, that fastball. Straighten him up a little bit. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A massive home run. It's 15-3. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. That's an incredible job of letting that breaking ball get deep, trusting your hands, and driving it out the other way. That's how you practice it in the cage. Incredible when you can translate it into the ball game. Here's the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. 0 and 1. Ball one, one there. 
One out, base is empty, and a run in here in the top half of inning number seven. And that one fouled off. Righty delivers. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Next ball. pitch off the play. And it's two and two. That's ball. a little bit low. Count is full. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. This one blasted the other way down the line and it's a foul ball. Three two on the way. Hard hit right side. Over to Smith. That was a strong at bat, even though he couldn't find a way on base. Now that the third baseman. Here's the third baseman, Trey Lipscomb. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Rafaela going back. Got it! Great leaping catch! Oh man, amazing catch to end the inning. As a former outfielder, I'm feeling proud right now. Saw the wall, didn't get afraid, held on to the ball. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Derek Law. And one thing on him, now he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. Reese McGuire now at the plate. For the Red Sox. The catcher. The wind of the pitch. And takes low for ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Jordan Weems looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. The 1-0. And strike one to the catcher. Ooh, one ball, one strike. You got to remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. And Two misses and inside. And that's Go outside. Ahead. And the count is three and one. Left hand hitter waits. That one to first, Manessis. He'll do it himself, and one away in the bottom of the seventh. Now back, second baseman, Dick Hamilton. David Hamilton getting ready to hit. First nope. pitch misses. Out towards left center. Dives, but it falls. Could be extra bases. The throw into second. Oh, Not in time. It's a double. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Sedane Rafaela up next for the Red Sox. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. The throw in, it's offline, the run comes in. 
Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Next to hit, Jaron Duran. Yeah. And the pitch is in for a strike. 1 1. Riding to the plate. Line drive, base hit down the line. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. Well, this tends to happen more often in this park than others, and that short fence is just so inviting for hitters. You see a lot of balls bounce over for an automatic double when no one can run it down. Now here's the Red Sox DH, Willier Abreu. Pitch ball, misses, no and that's ball one. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. And Here another ball. Rafaela, the runner at third. Duran at second with one away. Base hit, one run is in. Now two runs score, and they extend their lead. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make Robert Garcia on the pitch here. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. One gone runner at first. Tyler O'Neill, the next to hit. Base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Now it's Devers at the plate. First pitch, not close. Traffic on the bases with three already across here, the bottom of the seven. Rip to third and caught. Throw right behind the runner and they've got him doubled off. Three runs, five hits, no errors, and one left on base. We look ahead to inning number eight. The Red Sox out front, 18 to three. Back now at Fenway, here's Victor Robles. The right fielder, number 16. Victor the why to kick the pitch. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Makes the grab one down. Now that the center fielder, Jacob. Young. Back to the top of the lineup. And now here's the Nationals leadoff man. Pavetta in his sixth season, 31 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round. Back in 2013. The wind and the pitch. No, ball. And that's ball. off the inside edge. Ball three. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Pitch is in there, and it's three and one. Three one. And a foul ball. Three and two. Payoff pitch. And there's ball, ball four. four. Take your base. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay the off some really the close the pitches Short and down. somehow CJ. Boogie found a way to keep the bat Boogie. on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Eight. 
Abrams in the box now. No balls in a no strike. Balls, one there strike. was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. And the right hander deals. And there's a foul ball. Oh and two now. And that one lifted in the air center field settles under this one. Rafaela pulls it down. The batter number two second base is Luis Garcia. Now it's the second baseman Luis Garcia. That one missed. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. The 1 1. Good eye that in that That's spot. Ball. Two balls, one strike. Base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. The wow. the so important to get into the fielding position as you deliver that baseball. That is a scary one. Watch your lips. Joey Manessis digging in for the Nationals. Down yeah. the middle for a strike. Going one. Two on, two outs. This one in the air, right field. O'Neill drifts towards it. Brings it in, and that'll do it. for the bottom of the eighth and stepping in for Boston Vaughn Grissom and it may be a long shot but a triple here will give him the cycle the pitch now fly ball to right center makes the grab after a long run and there's one down every day during batting practice these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps they practice this and when the game comes they make the play perfectly Dominic Smith up next for the Red Sox. That one no, off the down. mark, and it's oh. one and no. Just no, that missed. missed. That's the ball. Duo. And Trio. that's down it away. Yeah. And he walked ball him. Four. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. The man at first with one gone. Reese McGuire up next for the Red Sox. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Ground ball up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. So up next, David Hamilton. Four for four, two doubles and two singles. Just oh, missed. Outside. One out, runners at first and second.
Two on, one out. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Rolled to short, possible two ball. Abrams oh. tossed the second, over hey. to first, safe. Here's the center fielder, Sidane Rafaela. Fought off foul. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Now snap throw to first. Hey. Hamilton back easily. The pitch. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. One run across. Hamilton around third. Now a relay to the plate. He'll score. Two runs are in, and the lead continues to grow. Everything came together for him. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced. He squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Jaron Duran. And the ball, first pitch out. misses for ball one. Rafaela at second with two down. Next ball. offering upstairs. Two and out. Lifted in the air down the left side ball, and ball. just foul. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Man on second, two down. He swings and fouls one off. And another ball. Count. On the ground, right side. Sends it to first. Inning over, and it could have been worse. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Ninth inning coming up. The Red Sox on top, 20 to 3. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now, Jesse Winker. Jesse Winker. Pavetta back to work. That's ball, off the ball. mark, and that's ball one. Right handed reliever. And a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. The other way. Fair ball. Showed a willingness to drive now that back. pitch the opposite That's way. Didn't get Hebrew. jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And here is yeah. Hebert Ruiz. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. And a pitch. Hit. That one, one way two. outside. One and two to Cal. <laughs> the 
Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. The throw is wild and it gets away. The left fielder, number eight, Eddie. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. That one is absolutely belted. That's down. One hops off the wall. Pulls into third safely as a run scores. Comes through with the RBI. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did. Greg Weiser gets handed the rock out of the pen. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say, spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Down the third baseman, Trey Lipscomb. In the air, center field. Rafaela gets under it. And makes the grab. Both runners tagging. And now the runner will score from third on the wild throw. He's two outs away. And now it's Victor Robles up to hit. Just oh. off the outside edge. Ball one. Wow. Boston's bullpen with some activity. Josh Winkowski appears to be getting loose. Kelly warming up as well. And he deals. And a good outside eye there. Ball. Right through there for a strike. And oh. another ball. Ripped on the ground a second. Over to Smith. Oh. Out number two, and another run comes in. Well, a run comes across the score right there, but defensively, when you have a lead like this late in the ball game, you're counting outs. Nice job of simply just trading a run for an out. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. They're down to their final strike. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. This could end it. That one no, misses, oh. and it's one and two. This to third, and That's foul ball. Hit to second, and this should do it. Throw to first, ball game. And the Red Sox slug their way to a win in this one.
Well, I don't know what they did in the cage day or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. Well, this one ends in a blowout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Schaub. Thanks for joining us.